Well, today, I'm in Asamayin Kese, precisely. Asamayin Kese is near high school, as school. I happen to be an old student, and then on one of our platforms, there were those pictures and videos of the boys' dormitory showing cracks, and then the nets to the dormitory are all torn. So, today I'm here to follow up on that story. So, yes, I have with me the school prefects the assistant voice prophet who is here to tell us few words like to give us few words and then uh, yes so yeah so what's your name um, my name is right to you I stand West Prefect of Asamaikesi Senior High School. When we were admitted to Asamaikesi Senior High School on the 14th of September 2017, looking at how this building was structured, it was very, very wet. We had to take the towel, we came to the rooms, the whole tools, wherever was very empty. We draw the attention of the administration, they came to move upon our building and precisely it wasn't war at all. Coming down to 2018-2019, there was a crack at the side view over there. That crack made students became so curious to the stand. I don't want to see what will happen over there. We have to also address the headmaster, Reverend Munyuntu, to see to it that that structure side view over there is well structured very, very well. Looking at how things were going, we have to also see to it that students don't get closer to that side view over there. But looking at how things were going, go to a time, the cracks were just coming down that way. So there was a time we had to see the housemasters complain to them that the other side view is getting worse. So when they came, all what they have to do is that they have to just get a board, cover that side so that students won't use the other side view. By looking at all these things, we are told here, we don't see any improvement again. Mostly, people come here to take pictures, they go, we don't see any support, we don't see any improvement in the development structure over here. So we are also here, we don't know how to cope with it. It's like any time students come back to the dormitory after bread, like most of them are afraid yeah, that when they sleep inside, they may have in mind that the structure should just go down. There, there should be renovation, yes, the renovation of it. The nets, all the nets, yeah, should be renovated as well. The toilet facilities, yes, looking at this number of students at this room. Everything. And the painting as well, yes, the painting. You can see it's just an old painting, just 19. Uh, since the school was established, yes, there's no second painting of it. So we just need the painting as well, the toilet facilities, which the enlargement, the block, the net, everything. Even the port was in every room. And precisely too, there are some rooms that are not having light. So looking at how things are going, when you just go to campus, there are lights there, but when we come to the dormitory, the light over there is not light. We have eight houses. The eight houses is only one house which is having light. It's about only four rooms having light in the room. And there's only two photo cells, solar panel light in front of the boys dormitory. Which Shines all over the new block. But looking at the rooms, we don't have lights. But there are things that there's some wiring inside the blocks that it has melt. So unless they remove all the wiring, they just take inside the new wire. So we also took it on ourselves that we also made that project. But yes, though, looking at the estimations of the bulbs and the lights they are talking about, yeah, it's very huge. We have the assistant headmaster domestic with us, and then he has something or some appeal to make for handing over to him. Yeah, good afternoon, Asa School Fraternity. Yeah, the structure that we see behind us is, it was originally proposed computer lab, but once the school was able to manage two classrooms and then converted that one into a computer lab, last two years, Management agreed that we should renovate and expand this structure to serve as school clinic for our students and then the teachers and other staff members. So if you can see, it's the school and the PTA that have you know, put on up to this point and then the wood members have been put on the structure. 
unfortunately for us, the government of Ghana have promised to bring in the roofing sheets. Uh, a past student has also donated the cables, that the electrical cables that can be used to wire the whole thing. So now the building is almost completed, but we may need cement and other finishing to complete the structure for the use by uh, the school. So I am by this appealing to all past students, well wishes, who can come to the aid of Asa School to come and help us put this good, uh, structure into use by the school. We may need cement. You know, the, the structure is not plastic. Mm -hmm. We may need equipment. Okay. We may need paint. We may need tiles. And all this can come in if uh, they can uh, donate in kind or in cash. Okay. And we we'll, uh, uh, appreciate them very much. Okay.